Hey everyone, this is William here from My Car Repair, and today we're going to be doing an oil change on this Toyota Yaris 1.2, and it has a four liter engine, and it was manufactured in 2018. This style of Yaris was manufactured between 2013 and 2019. Okay, so in order to perform this oil change, we're just gonna need a few really simple tools. We're gonna need a 64 millimeter socket for removing the housing around the old oil filter and installing the new one. And we're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket to undo the uh, plug for the oil tank so we can drain the old oil out. If we get any oil spills or we need to clean the oil plug, then we're just gonna use a liquid moly brakes and part cleaner and actually clean everything up so it's nice and new. Okay, for this oil change, we're gonna be using liquid moly special tech AA0W20 with the API SP approval. This oil is recommended for Toyota cars. It is actually specially designed for Asian and American cars. And the AA here stands for Asian and American. If you have a slightly older car than this one, let's say around 100,000 kilometers plus, then what we'd do is we'd recommend the Liquid Moly Mollygen 5W30, which is slightly thicker and better for the older engine and is perfect for a Toyota. The reason it's better is it's got more mollygen in it and it helps reduce with heat and friction. But for this car, because it's newer, we're gonna be using a Zero W20. We think that's the right oil. For an oil change on a Toyota Yaris 1.2, we're gonna need 3.4 liters of oil. This is a four liter container, so we're gonna be left over for some spare for a top up. We're also going to need our oil filter, and we've got the OEM Mali OC611-1. And because this car is well overdue for an oil change, we're going to be using Liquid Moly Engine Flush Plus. Now, we're gonna pour this into the oil, and this is gonna act like a soap, and it's gonna break down all the sludge and the, the deposits of, of gunk, and clean the engine out for us. So, let's get started. So, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the Engine Flush Plus into the old oil tank. We're gonna start the car and leave the car running idle for 10 to 15 minutes. The Engine Flush is gonna perform like a soap in your old engine, cleaning out all the old gunk and deposits that are left in the engine. So when we drain the old oil out, we're gonna be left with a nice, new, clean engine. What we don't wanna do is pour our new, high-quality liquid moly oil into an old, dirty engine, because that's immediately going to reduce the quality of the oil when it comes in contact with all the old burnt ashes and all the dirt that's in, left in your car. While we're doing this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this time to check the tire pressure, check the lights, check the water in the uh, windscreen wash, and just have a general look around the car. So this is a really simple, easy process. All we're going to do is take off the oil cap, open the bottle of engine flush, pour the engine flush into the oil, And then what we do is we re-put the uh, oil cap on and then start the engine. Now the engine running, let's get the timer started. Okay, now the timer is finished. What we'll do is we'll go around, turn the engine off. We will 
take off the oil cap and let's get the car up in the air. As you can see, we've got a professional workshop lift here. If you don't have access to such a lift and you're doing this at home, then make sure you're really careful and the uh, car is really stable before you get under it. So, two things we're going to look at. First of all is the oil filter, which is located here. And then you've got the oil tank drain plug, which is located here. What we're going to do first of all is just loosen off the oil filter, which is, and then we'll be ready to take the oil out and release it from the drain plug. Okay, so I've got a 14 millimeter socket, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to undo. Then, once I've undone it, I'm going to use my hand and unscrew it my fingers, keeping pressure against it, making sure it doesn't flow out until it's ready. And then, I've got to make sure that it doesn't spill out on the floor. So you've got to have your pan in the right place. And this is probably the trickiest, the most difficult part of the change. So I'm keeping pressure against it until it's ready to come out. Okay, now all the old oil's drained out. As you can see, the old oil was all dark and sludgy and needed changing. We're just gonna wash off the plug with our liquid moly brake and parts cleaner. Make sure it's all clean. We've put the new copper crush on there. We'll give this a spray as well, making sure that's clean. And then we'll just start by putting this back in with our hand. We'll finish tightening it up with our 14 millimeter socket. Okay, and now we're ready to move on to changing the oil filter, which is just here. Okay, so the next step in the process is removing the old oil filter and putting the new oil filter on. If you remember, we loosened it earlier, so this should come off easy. So as you can see, oil's already coming out. And we're going to do this bit slowly because there will be old oil in the oil filter. You've got to be careful that you've got the pan in the right place so you don't spill oil on the floor. And then let all the old oil drain out. Then we'll remove the oil filter from the housing. Um, we'll just put this on here and we'll give it a clean in a second. All right, so here's our new Marley oil filter. And it's really easy. We're just gonna screw it in by hand where the old one came off. And as it goes on, just gonna keep doing it. And that's as far as I can go by hand. And I'm going to use my 64mm socket just to finish off. If you're worried that you're going to do it too tight, then check the manual for the torque pressure. And I think that's about right there. So it really is as simple as that, just screwing it on. So that's the oil filter changed. We've drained all the oil. We've finished all the work underneath the car. Let's get the car back on the ground and I'll show you how to add the oil. Okay, so we're now ready to add the oil to the engine. The Toyota Yaris takes 3.4 litres, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by adding 3.3 litres, let it drip down into the crankcase for five minutes, and then we're gonna check the oil level using a dipstick and we're gonna see whether we need to add the extra 100 mil or not. And we're gonna do this just to avoid overfilling the engine full of oil. Okay, so let's get our funnel in. We'll open our Liquid Moly AA0W20. 
and we'll start pouring the oil in. With the liquid moly oil as well, you've got markers down the side so you can see exactly how much oil you've added. Okay, so we ran the car for one minute. We then left it sat there dead for one minute and we're gonna check the levels. First of all, we're gonna clean it off. And now we're gonna pull it out. As you can see, that dot is the minimum dot and that second dot, the higher dot, is where we wanna be. We're just a tiny bit short of that. So what we'll do is we'll just do a little bit of the top up and that should be the correct amount now. We'll put the cap back on and that is the oil change on a Toyota Yaris 1.2 completed. If you have any questions, then please drop them in the comments section below. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube, or if you have any questions, then just contact us directly. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.